What's going on guys? Sean here and this is the Boker Folding Smatch It. I'm just going to do a quick review on this one because this is the last one of Micah's knives that I have left to review before I can get his knives sent back to him. So I need to get this done. Um, this knife is pretty unique right here. It is massive. Um, I'll get you a quick size comparison or actually I'll do a couple because I have four knives in my pockets today. I have my Spyderco Shaman, my Yojimbo 2, have my Spyderco Capara, and my Spidey Chef. Bloop. All right, so check out next to a Shaman. <laughs> makes the shaman look like a baby so that doesn't give you an idea of how freaking uh kind of beastly this thing is i don't know what will let's do a side by side yeah so this is a thick boy this is uh i believe it's like 0.6 something inches thick so it's over a half inch thick which is quite obvious. And then another thing to note is this milled pocket clip right here sticks out another good half an inch almost. So this pocket clip, it, I'm kind of, uh, don't know how I, I really feel about it because on a knife this size, you need a nice, strong, sturdy pocket clip. So they nailed it in that aspect. And it slides in and out of pocket, well, over your pocket material um, just fine. It has good retention, so it functions well. The issue is how it feels. Now, there's no sharp spots to poke you, but it's just big. And you feel it kind of digging into your hand if you have a nice tight grip on this. But in all reality, I don't think this is a knife that you're going to be using for a lot of EDC tasks or really using for heavy duty cutting because this knife is not a very good slicer. We have a blade stock thickness of 160 thousandths. So it's a pretty beefy blade. Um, it, it gets nice and thin towards the top of the spine because it's a dagger profile um, and a dagger blade grind. But I, I believe it, it's like 25 thousandths behind the edge, which is not crazy. Uh, you know, it's pretty common for beefy knives to be 25 thousandths behind the edge. But for some reason, this thing just really doesn't cut well. Maybe it needs a, a aftermarket edge put on it. But uh, yeah, I, I do not find this very enjoyable to cut with. But as far as the ergonomics go, it it doesn't feel bad. I'll give it that. I mean, it has micarta scales, nice, nice feeling scales. There's really no sharp, um, sharp spots. So besides the clip, there really isn't any hot spots. The action on this thing is absolutely beautiful. This is on bearings and it has a thumb disc for deployment. You can very easily middle finger flick this. The lock bar access is okay. It could be improved, but it's not hard to get to. Very smooth action. It's drop shut. There's a thumb flick. Rock solid. Absolutely zero play in any direction. We have a nice solid lockup. That blade isn't going anywhere, guys. This thing is definitely solid. We have VG10 blade steel. And the, the use for this knife would be in a tactical role or a self-defense role. <clears throat> this, it, it's not, it's just not designed to be a you know, really a EDC type of knife. 
it's definitely more of a tactical knife um you know maybe tac uh t-a-c-t-i-c-o-o-l kind of tactical but it definitely could fill the real duty role also because like i said this thing is very solid um i'm sure this thing can penetrate with no issues basically what you have here is a folding fixed blade uh as it's like the size of a small dagger that you would carry on you if you were in the military and you know it it could function just like that but instead of having it in a sheath on your kit you can just have it uh clipped onto your vest or you know maybe clipped down in a magazine pouch on your uh you know on your gun belt or on your vest or even in your pocket this thing carries in pocket pretty good. Uh, it's not it's not the most comfortable because it's massive. And I believe the weight is like 7 ounces. So it's not really light. But it's definitely doable. I mean, if you have a good uh, belt and pants that actually fit you right, it's not necessarily going to pull your pants down. Uh, if you're wearing gym shorts, you know, you might lose them. But not too bad. It is definitely, uh, it's kind of fun to fidget with. Just the overbuilt um, and oversized nature of it makes it kind of easy to manipulate. Manipulate, And overall, just it's kind of enjoyable in hand. You have a very neutral grip. You know, it's symmetrical. Uh, through and through so you know you can flip this over anywhere you grab this it's going to be the same um, besides the fact of that clip and besides the fact that the spine is not sharpened but you could easily sharpen that and have a double-edged dagger so very interesting knife uh, like I said it's it's definitely not bad it has a lot going for it and these sell for uh, $99.99 or something like that. So for a hundred bucks, uh, you're, you're definitely getting your money's worth, in my opinion. This is a very well-built knife. Uh, this may be the first Boker that I've handled. So I can't really speak on uh, the quality control or um, tolerances and build quality of Boker as a whole but based off this knife right here i would say they do a pretty damn good job um you know unfortunately this is not made in the usa i believe boker is an american company but obviously they have their knives made overseas and they may not be an american company i'm not sure i'm not super familiar with them but i feel like it's a uh it's a company name that I've heard for a long time. So they're definitely not a new company. It's just not one that I have particularly taken much interest in. So um, anyways, like I said, I wanted to keep it short for this one. Got to get these knives back to Micah. I don't want to keep him without them any longer. It's been probably about a month now. So, you know, that's plenty long enough. I couldn't stand uh, being away from some of my favorite knives more than a week. So, you know, that's part of the reason I learned how to sharpen so well and fix everything on these knives is because I didn't want to ever send them out to anybody. Uh, you know, it's kind of ironic because so many people are so kind and generous to send me their knives to check out and review. And I honestly really don't send out any of mine um you know i and i feel bad about it uh and it's i'm not a selfish person it's just i have you know this ocd and this kind of weird attachment and it's kind of hard to explain so you know it's, it's something that kind of bothers me something i'd like to work on and hopefully get over but um 
This is one of the many knives that he sent me. This one happens to be my favorite of the bunch. If you have not seen my review and disassembly video on this one, make sure you go check that out because this is an absolutely amazing knife. Maybe one of the most amazing knives I've ever handled. This is the Grimsmo Norseman. Um, yeah, do yourself a favor and check this out if you have not already because this is an amazing knife and I am definitely going to miss this one. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you're having a great day. Thank you guys for watching. Love you guys. Jesus loves you. Stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.